Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler. Today we're playing Interstellar Rift. So continuing with uh, our last um, video, I had some technical problems and I couldn't continue with the with the last one. We, uh, but we are continuing just uh, where we left off. Like I, I, I just um, rift to. To the Alpha Valero system, I'm in the, oh, I'm in the constellation class ship. Mm, we can go to Vault. What should we do? Because mm, yeah, we can go to to the to the Vault room. There we we have um, resources. Uh, I'm not sure if we have to go there or we should go to the black market. Well, we need we need to complete some missions. Let's see what is our status now, because the idea is to complete some missions and then um, wow, with security I have a lot of reputation. Ah, maybe it's because I've been hunting down Skrills. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have more uh, reputation with uh, Drifters. But it's good when... Yeah, okay. It's good when you when you have reputation with several factions because you can always um, make uh, missions for them. Okay, another another um, benefit from reputation is that they will give uh, they will they will give you better deals when trading with 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 the factions. So discounts and things like that. So it's it's never a good idea to be in the in the wrong side of the like in the in the negative side of of, of the faction, right? Because not only they will attack they they could uh, turn hostile but also they won't give you good deals um okay so what should we do let's see i wanted to first check check my navigation power management Okay, that's great. So this uh, ship has hydrogen generator tech two, so a higher tier hydrogen generators, and that's good uh, for um, that's 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 a good way to boost your energy production. So whenever I need to buff like uh, energy production for one of my groups then I will use the the type 2 generators uh, you combine these type 2 generators with um, and look there's uh, an anomaly maybe we should look at the anomaly right let's look at that anomaly and see if we can get into the ship into a derelict yes as, as I was saying you will combine these uh, energy uh, higher tier energy generators with um, higher tier power boxes 
So I don't remember right now how much power you can you can get with a higher tier power box, but it matches this higher tier power generator. So that's um, that's even a better way to to manage power groups because you have more energy available for each group. So you can combine them. You can have lower tier um, generators with lower tier power boxes for groups that don't require that much energy. Ah, there is the... There is one anomaly. Once you get close to the anomaly, it will tell you what it, what what is it. And this one still we don't know what it is. But we're we're pretty close. This ship, yeah, it's not as fast as the Falcon Hauler. As I was saying, I think it's a good it's a good strategy to have like several ships in in, in a system because these uh, mobile factories are big and they are like they are good for many things, but they are not specialized. Okay, so oops. We are very close to the anomaly, but we don't Ah okay now oops it turned out that it was a rift. Okay, it's a rift and now we have um we have its uh, its position and there's another rift here. Okay These rifts, um, I don't know, you can investigate them and maybe they are a way also to get out of a system if uh, you are stuck. But they will lead you to, I don't know, somewhere, uh, some, some place that you didn't plan to go, I don't know. It depends. how this rift was created uh, okay so I thought it was a derelict so if we get to a derelict we can we can go there so let's head to the black market Oh, there were Skrills, but a lot. You saw that. I think they are... They were preparing to attack me. But this, this ship is um, harder to take down. It has a medium-sized shield. And it has a lot of hull and armor. I don't expect trouble with Skrills on this system with this ship. 
But as as you get um, as you get to other tiers, the skrills uh, will be more vicious and more powerful, and they will lay lay these egg knights in your ship. And these are like some sort of uh, larva state of the of the skrill and they will um they will drain your the energy of your ship okay so we're here where is the yes we're going this way and <laughs> now i have to get used to the Okay, so we need to charge our batteries. And here you can see that I have some like uh, medium power cells. So these, these are a higher tier power cell as well. So they store more energy. We're going to the transporter room. Okay, so this is the black market. I am looking for the missions here. Here are the missions. They just need fishy stuff. Ship crates for goods. So what do they need? Ah, that's great. They will give me this anchor. Um, yeah, let's accept this one. Search and destroy. 75. Yeah. That's okay. And then the, the ones that are highlighted with the yellow color are trans system uh, missions. So, for example, this one is bounded for scavarian yeah but i i won't go there now and yeah i think that's that's it this uh these missions uh need some junk basically is to destroy other stations um i don't I don't like those uh, missions because, well, it it like it makes things harder, right? Because you're destroying other stations and um, I don't I don't know what's the game mechanics behind these missions because it's not clear to me um, what's the what's the benefit, right, of destroying other stations. So if 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 this were like a zero sum game of some sort, of course uh, it would make sense to 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 destroy other stations. But it's not clear to me what's what's the benefit. So it's in in this game it doesn't seem like the factions are fighting each other. Of course you always have the pirates that will they will randomly attack um, other stations, but. Uh, even performing illegal stuff, I, I found myself attacked in a drifter station. So these pirates are very independent. So you could have also security in the in the pirate station. So it's not it's not clear. It's not clear what's um, they're not 
these drifters are they don't have like a a, a clear goal what it, it seems like they, they are the only purpose is chaos in the in the system and currently in this game i i have the drifter faction because well the drifter faction um i wanted like to play as a, a smuggler of some sort where is the other oh, let's see this is close and this one yeah that's farther away these are the screws Okay, so let's go to Voltron and deliver this cargo. And as I was saying, like in Interstellar Rift, the different um, factions seems like they live in like this ecosystem where they they provide different services and they contribute to like uh, trade and the economy in, in a system so it doesn't make um, much sense to to destroy other stations I mean of course once you destroy a station you can get a lot of scrap in from there from the destruction but it's not like <laughs> it's not like um, scrap is scarce in, in any system like you w would only do that in a really tight situation I don't know even even um, one thing that I did in the in the in the in the other game when I was stuck in the here in Alpha Valera was to destroy a derelict so destroying a derelict will give you a lot of scrap but again it's just a derelict you are not it's not like destroying a station so if if you need a scrap you can always destroy a derelict it's different it would be different if for example, you have like a security station that is producing drones to go and attack a, a drifter station. There it would make sense to have a mission to destroy that station, I think. This would make sense. Okay, so we are going to deliver this. Ah, uh, no, not here. Yes, and that and that's one of the disadvantages of uh, being in the drifter um, faction because you don't get that much. Um, missions like if if many of those missions are or there there are all these illegal missions uh, some of them are to destroy other stations but another and some others are like this contraband contraband is useful to get like rare like this is this was uh, a way for me to get a hold of some mercury to make some contraband that was ah what did i do Ah, it's not here. That's okay. Ah, there. <laughs> I was doing the wrong thing. There we go. So, okay, we have some... can put this here 
and then some steel okay everything is full now let's take this out put it here This some carbon. Um, carbon I need for the to to create ammo. Mm, but I have a lot of. Okay, carbon here. So we are done with that. Uh, let's go and perform the other we should check we should check if there are other um, other anomalies energy ah here in this system there are energy signatures energy signatures could be um, could be due to derelicts so let's see if we get lucky There's that and there's that other one. This is closer. Let's target this one. Okay, so I reach the the point where where the anomaly was uh, picked up, but now I get like another signal. Yes, and this happens until uh, the uh, you, you can uh, pinpoint the exact location of uh, if it's a derelict where where it is. Ah, and it's curious that the, now the other anomaly is quite close.
Okay, we reach the point. Almost. Uh, and it shifted again. Okay. So it's It's like uh, the analogy would be like this um, Hansel and Gretel um, fairy tale, right? <laughs> you are picking up uh, some crumbs following the, the, the path that this um, ship maybe um, followed. So it's similar to other games, right? Like uh, Elite Dangerous. I don't know if Eve Online has, I think, has something. Well, of course, have the anomalies, but I, I haven't played as much uh, Eve Online as uh, Elite. Okay, we're pretty close now. I don't know if I should jump out of warp or should I continue until it's defined as a... Huh, there we go. Maybe I shouldn't drop out of warp. Ah, but now this is closer, look. Well, at least I, I need warp one. But I think we're getting really close. Because now the the the, the signal ah you see? There we are. Cobalt. This is a ship. And what you do is because these ships are not uh, stationaries, you have to match their speed. And what is this? A trade drone. So you have to get uh, close to the ship and then match its speed. It's the cobalt. But is it a derelict? I think it's not a derelict, right? What is the cobalt? There. Here we match the speed. It's really close. Okay, now I don't know. <laughs> I'm really adopting that these are derelict ship. It's the cobalt. That's it right there. We're matching the speed, right? Because uh, because we are yes. We're matching the speed now. Still, it it's just that it's uh, closing slowly. So if we go to the... Yeah, I think it's not a derelict. So what happens, I th probably the, the... 
probably the gameplay here is just to if you're like a pirate if you're playing as a pirate you could attack the or try to board the ship but I think it's not a derelict okay so no we are not lucky looks like an N NPC ship still there are other anomalies there there's this one it's a ship okay it's another ship oh look grunt Let's see what happens here if they are going to attack the cobalt as well. No, they're just attacking me. So shields up, weapons. And look, but they're also attacking the cobalt as well. The cobalt is not responding, it seems. Okay, that was it. Let's go to our mission. It's not far away. So that's it. So these are marked as ships explicitly. Okay. There's a rift. Yeah, but I think there's there currently there's no no any other anomaly. Unfortunately. Okay, so I will leave it here guys, this video, and uh, hopefully we can have um I will be looking for a derelict and once I get to one I will I will make a video of it so um, 
but is that the the in general the mechanics how you uh, find derelicts like you you would have a, an anomaly you follow it and then you get to the to a ship um i think you you need this um cyber warfare if you want to um teleport to the ship because uh, access would be denied if you try to board it okay but uh, we achieve our goal to bring the constellation class ship to this system um, now uh, what we should do is that we should increase our uh, reputation with the factions to uh, 2000 we're almost there with the drifters um, so once uh, we reach 2000 then we can go to a tier 2 system um, also uh, the events um, the events are a way to get a reputation with the factions now that we have a factory we can just mine the, the resources um, for logic corp no galactic trade maybe this is a good one also um for um Maybe it makes sense for us to to contribute with uh, Voltron because Voltron has this storing ship um, capacity, and with that we can um, we can bring other ships or we can store our ships. This is a good service. They need brass, some scouting and uh, iron okay that would make sense also this ore and metal market it's it's a good thing to have okay but then that's everything for today i hope you like the video and hope to see you next time this is cyber settler signing off